If you've ever wanted to become an expert in a specific topic, you're going to want to learn how to create topical maps. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create topical maps with AI so you can find keyword ideas much faster. So let's go ahead and jump in and go through this training together. So first of all, topical maps will help you plan your content with a purpose instead of just coming up with a bunch of ideas and then publishing content without any kind of plan. This is going to help you become an expert or an authority around a specific subject. This is going to be leading into becoming a topical authority expert. And the simplest way to explain it is that this happens when a website or a person is considered an expert on a specific subject. You become the go-to source for information on a particular topic and people can trust you way more. And this is what I'm doing with this YouTube channel. If you look at other creators, you're usually going to their channel for a specific subject. For example, let's say we go to Gustenson for looking at sales funnels. If he were to publish content around something completely off topic, he's probably not going to get that many views. But if we know that he's the go to source for sales funnels, I'm probably always going to go back to his channel so I can learn how to create sales funnels. The same thing with someone else like Matt Wolf. Everyone knows him as the AI guy or the source for AI news. If we were to create content around how to make coffee or, you know, playing a sport, no one's probably going to watch that topic. So we all know Matt Wolf as the authority in the AI news industry. You want to become a go to source. And this is what topical authority helps with. So this is just an example of what we're going to be able to create. But you want to create a topical map or a content plan using AI. And this is a great example of one of my credit repair websites or a finance niche that I talk about. And this is going to show you that we have a pillar topic, which is credit repair, and that will lead us to creating a post, which is our pillar post. That's going to be credit repair tips. That could be a video, an article, or even just on your LinkedIn post, whatever it is, this is going to help you with your content strategy. So once we've created that pillar post, we're going to think about our transactional content. So this is really useful if like you're an affiliate or you have your own software program or you're selling your own services. You're going to want to create a transactional intent content piece, and that's going to be credit repair software for me. And then from there, this leads us into creating an entire structure or topical map. So from the transactional article, we're going to be creating informational content and that will kind of create a link internal link of all my articles or videos and people can watch those and read those over and over again. So once we created this transactional post, we'll create that informational content and that could be how to statements. So how to start a credit repair business, how to fix credit, how to send out dispute letters, how to contact the major credit bureaus. And all of these things are going to link back to my main article, which is best credit repair software. And this is all kind of creating a spider web or a link for everything. Whether you're doing this for YouTube, you can also have a call to action at the end of your videos that link back to a specific video. Or if this is your articles, you're just linking to other articles that are similar to each other. Then we can lead that into product reviews. So now that we created transactional post, you can create product reviews for the specific products that you're reviewing in that article. So you can create a credit repair cloud review, dispute B review, credit verso review, and that's what I'm doing with my content. And they can also do product alternatives, product comparisons, and these are known as like bottom of funnel content. So it's really important to create a plan around that. So that is just one single area. And then you can have other related subtopics. So if you look at the left hand corner, we have credit building, we have debt management, we have student loans, and we have like default. So those are things that kind of relate to credit and finance in my industry. And this is something that you should do as well for your own business. So let's jump into how we can get started. So the first thing that we need is a main topic. And for this example, we can use the topic of soccer. So this is the broad subject you want to cover, just like the title of your content. And I created a little board here that you can kind of review on your own, but I'm going to leave that resource for you here in this slide. And you can see that I have a topical map example. It's a really short one, but just will kind of get us under to understand what it means to have a topical map. So the topical map example is soccer. That is the main subject. And then we're going to have subtopics here. And then with under those subtopics, we're going to have our keyword ideas or our content plan. 
So again, this is just a really broad example, um, but this is really useful for anyone who kind of wants to see a visualization of this presentation. So just like you saw, we have our main subject, and then we're going to need to break it down into subtopics. So our examples of subtopics within the soccer niche could be rules of soccer, skills and techniques, soccer training, who are famous soccer players, the history of soccer. And these subtopics are the key areas with the broader topic of soccer. And each one's going to cover a different aspect of what our audience or our fans might be interested in. So once we have those subtopics, we can dive deeper by creating those keyword ideas. Let's say we were to go into soccer training as one of the main subtopics. We can start thinking about those key pillar topics, which would be dribbling techniques, passing and ball control, shooting and finishing, defensive skills, and goalkeeping basics. So you want to break down the soccer topics into specific subtopics and then dive deeper into so you can cover that whole niche and become the go-to expert. So this is the completely free AI topical map prompt that you can use. You can go ahead and grab it for yourself. And I'm going to leave those resources and description in, in there for you. But this is a very long prompt here. And we're going to have a role. We're going to have a task. And then we're going to have the example of what we wanted to show or represent. So we're going to say we are an expert content strategist and keyword researcher. The task is going to create a comprehensive topical map based on the provided main topic. This map should be break, broken down into subtopics and then further into specific ideas, ensuring that we cover the entire topic. It should be detailed, organized, and easy to follow. And then we have the context. So the context is going to say, the goal is to help create content that thoroughly addresses the chosen topic in various angles. This topical map will be used to guide the creation and create a well-structured, authoritative, optimized for search engines. So we're going to have our main topic, the number of subtopics, and then it's going to kind of repeat that process. So let's go ahead and use this in a AI tool like ChatGPT. You can also do this with Claude, Gemini, or even Grok2. So let's go ahead and jump in that and do that together. All right, so let's go ahead and enter this prompt and it's going to give us a few questions. So can I have a good general foundation of what we need? So based off of this prompt, it's going to ask us for the main topic. It's going to ask us for a number of subtopics and it's going to ask us if how many ideas we want for each subtopic. So let's add that together. So the main topic is going to be, let's say, AI blogging. The subtopics, I just want five. And under each subtopic, I want 10 ideas. And then it's going to ask us any additional preferences. So do we have any specific angles, focus areas, or guidelines we want to cover? I just want to say, make the ideas search-based, and then how to content. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're off to a really good start. Now we have our main topic here, AI blogging. And then we have our subtopics, getting started with AI blogging, writing and editing with AI, SEO and AI integration, content distribution and promotion with AI, monetizing our AI blog. And these are really, really good subtopics. And then they're all how-to statements. So we can keep on adding more to this information. But if you're someone who gets kind of confused or lost in this process, you want to make sure that you can use some kind of visualization tool like Canva or a mind mapping tool and start creating your topical map so you can literally see what it looks like as you start to create this and do the research. So if we jump into Canva, again, this is basically free. I can go ahead and start kind of adding all my information so I know where I'm at. So I can change this to AI blogging and I can add in my subtopics from ChatGPT. So we'll do AI and SEO. We'll go ahead and add in writing with AI. And the other last one we can do is getting started with AI blogging. So I'm just going to add that in there. And then we can start removing these ones here. But you can see how as we start to visualize this together, you can see how you can create an entire content plan really quickly by building topical maps. So as you start to create your topical map based on the subtopics, you can keep on generating content ideas. And this is really, really based on your own preference and what you want to write. But there's different kind of intent that we can go after as we start to publish content, whether it's on YouTube, blogging, SEO, or just on any other platform. Some of the things I like to do is based on the prompting and what kind of content I'm creating, I can ask for it to give me 10 viral title ideas based on the subtopics. I can ask it to give me 25 more pain points and then turn those pain points into how-to statements. 
I can also just tell it to give me 30 keyword ideas that are SEO driven, whether it's transactional or a how to statement. So you can go ahead and kind of continue to talk to the AI and see if it can give you more content ideas. This is all again, without using any SEO tools. This is just kind of using prompting to get you where you want to go. And you can continue to validate your keyword ideas using a keyword research tool like SEMrush, Ahrefs, or Ubersuggest. So for the example, I'm going to see if I can get 10 product category article ideas on one of the subtopics. So we'll use subtopic number three, which is AI SEO as the example. And the prompt I'm going to use is give me 10 transactional 10 product cat category ideas for best of on subtopic number three. So let's go ahead and do that. Sweet. So we have some good ideas. We have best AI SEO tools, best AI keyword research tools, AI writing assistance for SEO, best AI competitor analysis tools. And there's a lot of good ones in here. So if you want to go ahead and validate the intent, all you need to do is just go ahead and grab that keyword. And then we're going to jump into Google search and then just type in that keyword and see what the competition looks like. Is there a lot of competition? Is there companies like Forbes or uh, other big media sites ranking for it? Is there a way that we can rank for this keyword? So you want to just go ahead and validate those keywords if you're not using an SEO tool just, just by manually typing into Google search. So overall, I mean, it looks a little competitive. We have, you know, some high companies here, no media sites, but we do have, you know, we have Hub, HubSpot, we have Backlinko, we got Experienceify. Um, so some decent companies here ranking on the first page. But overall, this is just to grab ideas. So we can keep on looking at other ones like best AI competitor analysis tools. We can add that into Google search. So we've got Zapier, Sprout Social, Medium, ClickUp. Um, this one doesn't seem too bad. Uh, so I do like the idea. This is this could be a good video topic or it could be a good blog post idea. And I can continue adding more to this here. So let's say we wanted to dive deeper into this one of the transactional articles that we have, I can go ahead and do this prompt here to so give me 25 more pain points that my audience would face in this subtopic and then turn those into how to statements. So instead of using the subtopic, since we already know that we're in AI SEO, I'm going to grab one of the transactional articles and I'm going to add this in here instead of the subtopic. And it should give us a lot of informational posts that we could write around AI keyword research. Cool. So this was really good. So we have the pain points around AI keyword research, uh, you know, difficulty understanding complex tools, how to struggling to find long tail keywords, the lack of accuracy and keyword relevance. So there's some good ones in here. And that's going to turn those into how to statements. So now we have how to determine the most relevant keywords using AI, how to seamlessly integrate AI tools into your SEO strategy, how to analyze keyword competition. That one's actually really good. And then my next prompt is going to help us turn those into viral title ideas. If you're trying to use it for YouTube or maybe you're on another social platform. So let's go ahead and turn those how to statements into viral title ideas. So let's go ahead and change this prompt and add a little bit more to it. So we're going to say now turn those how to statements into insanely viral title ideas. All right. So again, this is anyone for anyone who's kind of focusing on like creating content on social platforms or YouTube instead of like SEO. But this prompt will give us some viral title ideas. You don't have to use it word for word. You can pick and choose the ones that you like. For, for example, I like this one here. This AI hack will skyrocket your keyword research game. Here's how we have another one for affordable AI tools that will supercharge your keyword research. Don't miss this. Um, so there's some good ones in here. There's some ones that are kind of, you know, overboard and a little extra, which, which I don't like. Uh, but there's a lot of good ones in here we can use. And just from here, just pick and choose some of the titles that you like. If you're doing that for social first content, if not, you can just stick with these and go after evergreen content. This is how you can build a really solid topical map. So that is a free way how you can build topical maps. And I recommend that you take your time, spend a day or two just coming up with a bunch of content pillars or subtopics within your niche or your subject of that you want to be a expert in. And then from there, you can start kind of thinking of what kind of content you can create based on a YouTube plan or a blogging SEO plan or just social first content like on LinkedIn. This will help you get started. And if you're not using any paid tools, then I recommend just starting off with this, seeing what your audience likes. And then as you start to get more views, as you start to get more maybe paid clients, you can start to invest into paid software like Ahrefs, Uber Suggest by Neil Patel, or just anything that is, again, giving you more data. So if you like this video, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help you. And make sure you grab those prompts in the description. I'll make sure that I can 
provide you with the most accurate information and prompts that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. If you want to watch any other videos related to this topic, you, your, YouTube's going to go ahead and leave those up there. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.